Okay, now what I'm doing is I'm using my, uh, you can't see it in the picture here, I'm using a turtle wax rubbing compound. Uh, I've wet sanded this entire piece using, uh, first I used a thousand grit sandpaper to get the heavy uh, pits off the clear, and then I went back with 1500, and then I went back with 2000 <clears throat> grit sandpaper to get a really, hopefully a smooth finish. Really can't see on this metallic how it's going to come out until I rub it out with the rubbing compound and then finish it with the polishing compound. So I'm going to do that now. I'm just going to try it on a little section and we're just going to kind of really rub it in and, and really get some uh, bite on it. The rubbing compound um, <clears throat> has a lot, it removes a lot of material. It, it has more uh, grit in it and a little more uh, bite to it, uh, a little more cut, I should say, uh, than the polishing compound. So it'll still be a, a, a slightly dull finish uh, after I rub this out with the rubbing compound. And then I'll come back with polishing compound and see what kind of a surface we get. Um, I probably have about an hour to an hour and a half in this one piece wet sanding it. Uh, it really took a lot of time. I put three coats of clear on and the clear was a little bit, uh, it's pretty bumpy. so. It took quite a bit of wet sanding to get it down to a good, smooth, uh, flat surface that could be polished. So now, I'm going to get a clean microfiber and I'm going to kind of take off this excess and kind of see how it looks. And it looks, it looks pretty good. I can still see a little bit of pitting uh, from the clear, so I could go back and wet sand it more. Uh, however, I can already tell after I polish it out with the polishing compound, even right now, it's going to look light years better uh, than what it came from Honda. It's going to be hand polished and, and buffed and it's really going to look amazing. So I'm going to try the polishing compound next. Okay, what I'm using now is I'm using this, uh, I don't know if you can see it in the picture there, it's a Meguiar's polishing compound. Uh, this has a less cut than the rubbing compound, so it'll put a little bit higher polish on the surface. Uh, get out more of the, of the finer scratches and I'm just gonna put some, I use these uh, these little pieces of microfiber cloth. I buy these yellow microfibers at Costco. You can get like 30 of them for $14. They're real cheap and they're, they're pretty good for just basic polishing and they're really good to cut up in pieces and use to apply polishes or apply wax. So they're, they're dirt cheap and they're, uh, they're good for that purpose. They're not real great for drying off your car. Uh, they're just not that absorbent but for application purposes like this, they're perfect. So I'm going to really rub this in. I'm, I'm actually applying a fair amount of pressure. I do not have a hand buffing uh, wheel or anything that I'm using on this. The, the pieces are so small and there's so many contours like you see in this corner here that you really have to almost get your hands in there and do it. But I'm going to really polish it out here and um, see what we come out with. It looks pretty darn good after applying the uh, polishing compound and buffing it out. Uh, my last step, I, it's just something I use because I like it, is I use a little bit of this uh, scratch doctor on there because it's an even finer uh, cut than the polishing compound. It's for, for real light surface scratches. It's not really necessary. I could probably go ahead and just use a, a standard polish. Uh, but I like to go ahead and do it. I think it, it also has a little bit of wax in it, so it does protect the paint a little bit. And, uh, you know, I, I should mention at this point, nobody would put this much effort into, you know, <laughs> painting and, and polishing a, uh, a piece like this. Uh, if you go to a paint shop, they're not going to do this. But, uh, you know, for me, it's a hobby. It's something that's kind of... Uh, it passes the time and it's something that's a challenge, you know, it's something I like to do and I like, you know, I like the bike to look good, even though I'm selling it. Uh, I think it's worth it and I think, you know, I doubt if the new owner would appreciate all this work, but uh, nevertheless, uh, it's getting done, so I'm going to polish this out. And once I get this little test section the way I like it, I may have to go back and wet sand a little more just to get some of the, some of the clear smoothed out a little. But once I get it the way I like it, I'll just go ahead and do the whole piece and uh, get it over with.